Hello stylers, welcome back to the Full Style Ink channel for another video. My name is Nadia and I am the creator and founder and the beauty behind Full Style Ink. Today's video is going to be a vlog. If you see by the title, the thumb card, and the entry of the video, it is going to be a sewing vlog. I am in preparation to go for my trip to Jamaica. I am going on a vacation. I haven't been on it actual vacation in a very long time and i'm so very excited and there are some things that i wanted to make for the sake of saving some money as i do as well as because you know it, it creates content and life is content so i've pulled out a bunch of material that i've been holding on to um from week before last video i went thrifting and i got a few like curtains and sheets and i'm gonna make some things out of that as well as i'm gonna be making a few gifts for my friends who birthday it is and the reason why we're going celebrating while we're there i'm gonna make some gifts for them but yeah so i've already like written down and sketched up some things that I want to do and make the materials. Took in stock of the materials I have. I want to make a few swimsuit cover-ups for some of the swimsuits I have. Um, make some hats, some bags, because I don't have like any sun hats. I do want to make a cute bag or two. I'm definitely going to be gifting one of those to one of my friends and a few other accessories and just like some things to wear. Now, all of this may not be going with me to Jamaica, but it's some stuff that I've been wanting to make. So I'm gonna be doing that. So I'm gonna pop in, in and out, here and there, sharing what I'm doing, what I'm working on, but I'm definitely excited to get started. So like I said, some of this stuff has been on my list to use. For instance, this beautiful material that I got from Mood last year. Um, that I made those gorgeous floral pants out of. I have probably, this is probably like a good yard, maybe yard and a half of fabric left. And so I'm gonna make a cute little simple kimono because I don't wanna do a lot with it yet because I do plan to make an actual top out of this. I just don't know which top I wanna make. So I'm just gonna do a simple cut here, stitch there and make a nice blousy flowy kimono with and pair it with this cute little eyelet material that I'm gonna make a crop top of. And that's gonna be what I wear to a brunch that we'll be having while we're there. A girls brunch with just us girls because the trip is a mixed group of people. So just the friend group of the girls. We're gonna be having a girls brunch. And so I, would, I think this is a very, very, very cute look. I have a swimsuit that I need to take in because it's too big on the top. Um, and I don't wanna exchange it. One, because I don't know if I, I have the back in time. And two, because then the bottom may be too small because the bottoms fit just fine. The top is too big around the bust and stuff area. And so trying to downsize it because it's a one piece, then my bottoms may be too small. <laughs> the last thing I need is my, Woo! Either it's slipping down and showing too much, or it being so tight, it's squeezing up in my booty cheeks. So yeah, I have a bunch of stuff here, and I'm gonna get started. I'll pop back in in a bit when I'm probably sitting down to sew, answer a few questions, give you guys some updates in life. So if you're excited to see what I create, what I'm using, how I'm sustainably making some things for this trip, then stay tuned. right to it. Thank you. 
Hello, Stylers. It's now a few hours later. I've um, cut all of my pieces that will be like clothing, the cover-ups and everything, and the little wraps. I've cut all of that. I pinned that. Um, I looked at it in some of the mirror. So now I'm just sitting down to sew everything. I want to get this done today so that the next two days I can focus on the accessories. And those things are going to be a little bit more technical because I'm making a hat. I'm making hats. I'm making bags. So I'm making some earrings too. Like, yeah, some of these are going to be gifts for my friends since it's people's birthdays. And then my guy Dre, I think I'm making him a dope bucket hat. I got to figure out what material I'm going to use to make him a bucket hat. I think he'll like a, he, he a hat guy, so I think he will like a dope bucket, like beach hat. That'd be really, really dope for him. So I'm thinking of what materials I could use. I probably, I could use some denim. Then I wanted something a little bit more light. He wouldn't like no crochet or no lace bucket hat, even if I did like stiffen it up. And I wish I had some. I wish I had some linen, some white cream linen, a neutral color linen. I really don't have that. The only thing I have slight like that is this linen curtain material that I'm using for one of my cover-ups. But that's not the neutral I was thinking. I'm thinking more like beige, taupe, tan. mystery fabric over there. Maybe I can cut a bucket hat out of that. But I still might do a denim bucket hat because I would just love, to, I, I, I would personally like a denim bucket hat. But yeah, so I'm sitting down sewing the clothing so that um, that's all done and taken care of because that's mostly high priority because I need I need that stuff. I need the I need the cover ups and you know I need the, I need the good times. So yeah. Morning stylers, welcome back to the full South Beach. Nope, I already did that. <laughs> Good morning, stylers. It is Wednesday. Yesterday kind of got away from me. Um, I did get a lot done, but not as much as I wanted to get done. Um, I spent some time with my sister while working, so it could be a bit of a distraction. And then hopping on camera to pause every time, you know, to pause what we're doing, what we're watching every time to get on camera was kind of like, you know. I didn't want to up, upset the flow too much, so um, I just plowed away. So, I got the floral kimono done to match the pants. Um, I got, I switched out from the little satiny brown fabric to this kind of muted rust roungy orn linen fabric that's definitely some curtains that I wanted to keep curtains but I like how they match with the swimsuit better than the brown so I opted to create a nice flowy sheer um, cover up with that so I need to finish it I need to cut I need to cut it because it's super long because it's curtains and then I need to hem it and then the orange sheer fabric I, I'm gonna press the seams I'm gonna press the seams because I lost my narrow row hem foot. I don't know where that thing is. I, I I don't know where that thing is. I haven't used it in a while, maybe a few months. And I hope that it didn't fall off the table and got swept up when I was cleaning or when my, my sister was sweeping or something. My cat playing with it and got knocked somewhere else um so that's gonna be something that i have to do 
when we're packing up, when I start to pack up my stuff, it's slow down and look for it. Probably look at some of them boxes and bags that I have sitting right next to me. And maybe it fell off into there. I don't know. But um, So it, it kind of made me upset that I had to rethink how I was going to, uh, you know, sew up, hem up all this loose, sheer fabric that I have without this narrow roll hem. So I'm not really in love with the orange, the sheer orange fabric anymore. I'm going to press... I'm gonna press the seams and see how it looks. If not, I'll make scrap it. Not throw it away, just scrap it, the ideal of it, and just take the little um, lace white sheer fabric that I made, oh, I think I made that two years ago, and wear that with the swimsuit that I had intended for that look, for that day, for that look. Um, because it matches, it goes together. I was just trying to do something new. I was just trying to give another look to what I, how I wear that. So, um, what else, what else, what else? So, yeah, I just need to do finishing details with some of the clothing. And then I want to get into the bags. I really want to get into the bags. Um, I want to make me a bag. And then I want to make, um, a bag for my friend Crystal. She would, she would really like that. Crystal would really love the bags. Um, and then hopefully today... If not today, definitely tomorrow, I want to get into the hats. Again, I'm making me a hat. I'm going to make a hat for Shabriya. And she want a few head scarves. Should I be telling all this? Because they going to see this. They watch my videos. I know Shabriya watch my videos. I tell. Because they don't. I'm making a few things. So, there going to be some bags and being made. <laughs> It's gonna be some bags being made. It's gonna be some hats being made. Um, I know Dre don't watch my videos, so um, but I, I know Briar watch my videos, and I know Crystal sometimes watch my videos, and I mean like sometimes like she'll probably collectively watch a bunch of videos all at once because she she be, she be busy. That's the busy friend. That's the busy friend. So um, yeah. I'm going to make, hopefully today, I have some errands to run this morning. I have, to, I have an errand, yeah, two, two errands to run this morning and give me some lunch. Um, right now, I'm about to go downstairs and make me a, a quick smoothie bowl. I uh, really woke up wanting the, all the doses of fruit. Um, I'm starting my, I'm ovulating. I haven't started my cycle yet. I'm ovulating, so got to get my nutrients in me before my body drains me of everything. Hey, stylers. So, we're well into the evening on this bright and sunny, deceiving spring <laughs> day. Um, I have finished the two cup, the kimono and the cover up. Um, I need to go back and do the eyelet top. I totally forgot about it, but I just need to attach the straps and figure out if I'm going to add like um i don't know a zipper to get in and out of it and i'm probably gonna leave the edges raw i'm i'm i'm, I'm feeling that look i'm feeling that look probably just do a stitch around and just leave the edges raw uh i'm getting into the fun part and that is accessory mayhem bark yes so i have some material here now i do have some bags and i'm gonna bring i know for a fact i'm bringing two of my bags so I'm not gonna go too crazy on the bag. But I have this beautiful printed pillowcase that I think will look cute with my swimsuit. And it matches the color of the cover up I just used as a color and it matches the cover up. So I'm like, maybe I can, you know, that could be a bag. But I'm gonna put that on the back burner or maybe I do it as an example. Because what I really, really wanna get into is this fabric. Now, I've already attempted Oh, here it goes. I've already attempted to make a bag out of this print. This is a mood print. It's like a panel. Uh, this is like one of those panel fabrics. So it's not like the whole print. It has different panels. And I brought quite a bit of, I brought like, I think it was four of these blocks on one panel. 
Anywho, I, I got a, I got I got enough. So I got enough to make two, three bags. If I have the print back in front, or if I just have one side print. So if I do back in front, I have enough to make three bags. So one for me and the other two for my friend. If I only use one side, which is what I really want, because I just don't, I don't want the, the back side to have a print on it. I don't think that's necessary. I can just have like some cute fabric back there. I don't need the, the print. I can make six bags, right? Correct. You know your math. So I think I'm gonna do that. And then I have fabric left over. This fabric left over from when I made my coat, my wool coat. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use that as lining. Now, here's the thing. I don't have enough. So I already have two panels cut out of the ladies print and then the other print because I already attempted to make a bag, but I didn't like how narrow the bag was when the fabric was standing up like this because this is really narrow. So I'm thinking of turning it this way and I'm okay with the print being laid on the side. I can look at that, it's still cute. But I don't have a lot to do of the other print printed fabric. So I'm gonna have to get creative and see if I can find some more pillowcases or sheets or something because I want um I want to make some cute bags and I want to have the bag just like a plain printed bag. This be the inside lining. And then the back just be the back. I don't know. 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 I'm gonna have to do some creative problem solving. So that's one of the bags. And then my friend will get one. Both my friends will get one. And I think they really, really would love that. Both friends, both of my friends will love that. They like, oh my, they will love that. Again. Um, then outside of the bags. I have this beautiful fabric that I know I've had for a very long time. And I know I got, I believe I got it either from Joann's. No, I think I got this from Joann's, but I've had this for a very, very long time. And it was at once upon a time like a, a sleeveless duster, a sleeveless kimono. I haven't worn it in actual years. And so I'm thinking of making a hat out of this. I have, I believe I have enough fabric to make a hat. Um, and I may have enough fabric to make a hat and a bag. Now, this hat will be for me. I still want to make a hat for my friend Dre, but I'm going to do that out of denim and just with some cotton as a lining because I really think he would like that. Just like a denim hat with like this pillowcase sheet. He, he would love that. He would be like, oh my God, no. He, he like hats. And so this would be a nice sun hat for me. And I brought some liquid starch stiffener to stiffen up this fabric so that I don't have to worry about using interface and I don't have to worry about lining it once I use interface so that it can keep its sheerness. Cause I want it to be sheer. I think that would be so cute from when we on the, either the beach, at the beach, yeah, either the beach or we on the boat party. So yeah, I'm gonna get cracking. I'm gonna turn you guys around. I'm gonna figure out these bag situation before I get into the hat. Just for my hat, just got done reading my the instructions, as I think. And I need to do a taste, a taste test. I need to do a test strip. Adia, you're not tasting anything. So I'm gonna cut off a little piece down here and then I'm gonna pull take this into my bathroom and spray it because I want to spray it somewhere that I can close it open the window and close the door and my cat doesn't go sitting on or licking on because he likes to do that he did that when I was bleaching some stuff he would call himself laying ownership to it and sat on the boxes that I had down on the ground outside that was covering bleach when I dropped them on the floor in the kitchen before I threw them downstairs and next thing I know he was licking himself I tried to catch him and wipe him down and then he threw up Anywho, <laughs> so this will be going with this and spraying just to see how, if it will work, manipulating everything. In the meantime, 
I am, I think I'm, I need to quickly make a pattern for the hat that I want and then the hat that I'm going to make my friend Dre. It's kind of so, I need to make two patterns. One for a bucket hat and then one for like a floppy sun hat. So I'm gonna get started on that. I'm gonna move stuff around. I wanna cut as much as I can at one time so that when I go to my sewing machine, I can just sew. I try to work, I try to work smart and hard. So I'm gonna do that and um, clean off this area. That's all of my pa pattern pieces cut for the bucket hat, so the one for my friend mine and then the one from my guy friend so the bucket hat and the two sun hats this All right, stylers, I have patchwork and cut out the pieces for the denim bucket hat. I am currently trying to figure out uh, the pieces I need for the sun hat. I need to go look at that test strip and see if it's holding up so that when I sew all this together and I spray it down, I know it's going to stay. I'm finna go do that. Let me go grab it. I'll be back. So the piece is not really fully dry yet. And it's not really holding its shape. Um, the instruction said an hour. I know it's been more than an hour. Yeah. I know it's been more than an hour. But it's still not completely dry. So... I'm going to let it continue to dry. I'm, I'm definitely going to... I'm going to spray this one more time. I'm going to spray it down. And I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to let it dry overnight. And I'm going to see. Because he said to spray it again once it's completely dry. Mm. I'm going to spray it again. Because I really don't want to have to. I don't want to have to add interfacing and line this thing. I want it to keep it light and airy. So we'll see. Good morning, stylers. It's Thursday. I'm up kind of early. Um, well, I'm up and about kind of early. I'm not feeling the best at me, emotionally. Um, kind of. I ain't gonna say spiral. I'm just not feeling the best today emotionally, and it's kind of upsetting me because today is a my pastor's disciple and mentor's birthday supposed to be a cel celebratory move honoring and celebrate her which I am still going to do but I'm just not in like a mood mood and it's the day that the Queen Charlotte story premieres on Netflix and I'm really excited for that because I went to the, the screening last week and it was amazing and the first episode is crazy good <sighs> I just feel like <sighs> but I'm going to continue working on what I've been working on, um, finishing, uh, so last night I tried on that little, uh, brown little thing I was making, and I didn't like it at all, I was like, I, I wasn't feeling it the entire process, but I was hoping that, you know, that I make it work, I didn't like it, so I seen ripped most of it apart and I'm going to just put it together and do like a cute little skirt with like a front split and a sheer and flowy and just keep it casual. I should have just stuck with my first man and made like a button up, like a sheer long button up dress. 
your dress. But I was being lazy. And that's what happens when you be lazy sometimes. I was just trying to do something simple. Quick. And I should have just took a little bit more time to do that. So, that's on me. I have more than enough material to do it too. So, that's on me. Um, in other news, our little test strip holding up together um and now it's holding up together on its own so that gives me hope that i will have the nice structure that i need for a hat but it wasn't it won't be too stiff and hard so i'm pretty sure if i spray this again one more time and dry it will like give me a nice nice thing so i'm gonna do that um i've already cut out last night i cut out all of the pieces I need for both sun hats and the bucket hat and I just need to assemble them once the two sun hats are assembled I will spray those down um probably find a way to make sure that the head the brim part the head part is um structured probably stuff something with like paper and bags and or use like my head form and just put like a plastic bag or something over top of it so that the hair form itself doesn't get all that stuff on it <sighs> yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do i, I got a styrofoam one i don't know where it is anywho yeah i'm feeling kind of today so i may not be on camera as much i may just set up the camera and just work i have a lot of sewing to do today which is what i want to do which is what i want to do it's good because I like cutting out all the things to cut out, pinning stuff together, and then just sitting down on a sewing machine and sewing as much as I can at one time. So I got the bags, I got the hats, and then uh, the two other clothing pieces that I need to finish, well, restart and finish. And then lastly is to do is like the smaller accessories, some hand scarves and some earrings. So I may be working all day today and work late into the night so that tomorrow I can take care of myself. I need to wash this hair. I'm sick of looking at this. I'm sick of looking at this buff. And I need to wash my clothes, change my sheets. I just need to do like maintenance in life. So if I get all that I need to get done today and be at a ready spot, I don't need this stuff for another three weeks. So I could come back, I could finish stuff here and there. But I want to get to a good, solid 75% done, 80% done. So I have some, something to show you guys at the end of the video. I'm not going to show you guys everything because I want some, some stuff to be a surprise and be a little, cute little treat. And then, yeah, I'm going to have tomorrow to myself, take care of myself. And then I can just chill all day Saturday. So, sounds like a plan. All right. I'm gonna let you go. All right, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna make me some breakfast, make me some tea. Hopefully, I can eat. hopefully my move will improve. Um, Cause yeah, I'm just feeling some type of way. I got some things on my mind. It's, I'm trying not to stress. I'm trying not to stress. I'm trying not to freak out. I definitely wanna freak out. <sighs> Hey sellers, um, doing a quick check in here because I'm about to take a much needed break, but I'm really, really happy because I have finished sewing the little sun hats. 
And I'm think I'm, I'm I think I'm gonna leave the edges raw. I think I like that. I don't want to weigh the hat down with trying to fold this over. But <laughs> I finished them. So now all I have to do is set myself up to shape them. I think I'm gonna focus on the brim first, shaping that, getting that structured, and then that way when I lay it flat. To, not the brim focus on the hat the hat part getting that structure around my head form so that it can have its shape and solid and then I can focus on the brim so that when I lay it flat so it can just lay flat and I can spray it and it could just sit there but I'm really really happy at these two hats I haven't sewed up the denim bucket hat I'm gonna do that later um, that required me switching out my sewing needle because I need to switch it out to denim and I'm using like my micro one because I've been using working with vinyl fabrics. So I'm gonna take a break, probably have a snack. I'm feeling a little bit better than I was this morning. I'm trying not to dwell on the situation. Um, and then when I come back, I'm gonna come back to these bags. These cute bags so that I can get the handles and stuff on them. But yeah, I'm all, I'm making good time. I'm all right. I'm really excited about these hats. This is this this just put me in such a good mood. There is some minor minor mistakes. Like I accidentally sewed the brim on the opposite side, so I had to go back in and fix it and do like a French hem. And I did that on both the hats. <laughs> After I did it on the, my friend's hat, and I was like, okay, let me not make this mistake on my hat, and I did it again. So. Yeah. Um, and then I got something to fix on hers because I did something wrong. But all in all, I'm really satisfied with it. And I hope she loves it. And I hope this fit. Cause she has a little head. She has a she has a small head. So I hope I hope I didn't make this too small because it's looking like a child hat compared to mine. So good. I finished sewing the panels for our little bags. The hats are currently drying and being shaped. I have the top, now I'm doing the side panels, and then after that, hopefully I can get it to a point where it's standing up so that I can do the brim. And the brim doesn't have to be as stiff and firm as the rest of the panels. But right now, I am about to press all of the panels for the bag so that I can top stitch them and then sew them together um, I've decided to kind of end this day short. I, I know I, I originally was like, oh, I'm going to stay up and I'm going to work through the, I'm going to work late. But I just was really in a, a very frustrating place mentally earlier today. And it had me feeling like I was going to freak out and have a panic attack. And I haven't had... Uh, a panic attack or emotional breakdown in a very in, 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 in a quite a while um because with therapy I've been learning how to manage my emotions and um I've always found comfort in God's presence and scriptures but like <sighs> I don't know so my sister I was thinking of watching something and my sister suggested that the show that we both like and it's really funny it's just stupid and so we watched that I felt a little better and I started working. Um, I watched that. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna push through my, I'm gonna push through this feeling, and I'm gonna do something that I can't control. Because what I'm upset about is something I really can't control per se. There's things I could do to help, but there's only so much I could do. So I was like, I'm gonna focus on something I can control, something I can do, and that's work on this. So I started doing that, and seeing how the 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 hat was turning out made me really excited and made me feel a lot better I'm not gonna lie um to the point I kind of forgot um uh, but not not I ain't gonna say kind of forgot I didn't forget I didn't I didn't forget but it helped not it be the front focus of my mind and let me be excited about my trip and not worried about other things Put them together and then me and my friends will have some cute bags. They're gonna be matching. I wish I had enough fabric 
to make all my friends bags, like all my friends that's going on the trip in this friends group. I wish I had enough to, you know, you guys, you guys remember Wanda. Um, I wish I had enough fabric to make Wanda a bag, Star a bag, and Ashley a bag, and Bianca. But I don't. I only have enough for Crystal, which you guys, you should remember Crystal, and Shabriah. The OG, OG, OGs should remember Shabriah. Shabriah was the first full style girl. 